Uh, I was just informed by my boys, Caden and Will, that I have to go see what's happening on the deck right now. <clears throat> oh my god! What the? It's a total apocalypse out here. That umbrella is normally right there. Like this one. But it's in the bushes. Oh! What's going on? Just the morning cup of joe at the most beautiful wave in the world. So, as you can see on this fine, beautiful morning, uh, the deck has been absolutely obliterated by a tropical storm. Miko's trinkets were scattered across the deck, signs were torn off of the rails, uh, the Red Bull umbrella was stripped completely out of its metal post and into the bushes, and Smokey the Cat was horrified and barely made it out alive. Actually, I, I don't know, he could have been totally fine the whole storm, but I'd imagine he was pretty scared. Regardless, this is the windiest day I've ever seen since I've lived here in the last year and a half. Miko was pretty shook up, and he's lived here for 25 years. Could it be the windiest day in years? I'm gonna make the claim. On top of this, I have something really fun planned today. Uh, it relates to the wind, actually. I figured it was, I inevitably had to do something relating to the windiest day in years. But before we get to that, I have all of these. A lot of boxes. About five, six, maybe seven boxes that I've been holding on to since like Christmas, uh, New Year's, two weeks ago, three, I, did, I don't know. I've had boxes in my house for way too long and it's time for me to open them. I kind of want to make like a little series called Unboxing Boxes with Jackson Lipset. Yay! Hey, look, it's Caden. How was that cup of joe this morning? Hey, dude, it was awesome. Uh, I'm going to unbox all of the boxes behind me and um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll start the first episode of Unboxing Boxes with Jackson Lipsack. Happy holidays. Yeah, that one was from Christmas. Getting back into the, oh my gosh! We are going to unbox the Christmas miracle from, I believe, my parents. Sorry, mom and dad, it took me a little bit, but now I get to feature it on the vlog. Wow, a full care package. It's a Christmas miracle, are you kidding me? All right. What are you doing, dude? Are you filming? Yeah. All right, now that he's out of here, I can do this in peace. Sick. <gasps> Ugh. There's some dust. There's some dust in there. My mom always keeps me covered on board shorts. Thanks, mom. Always, always need board shorts. Next up, oh, no way. Two J-Bear from Wayne and Ty Gretzky. This is a super funny story. I don't think a lot of people know this, but I've actually grown up as family friends ever since I can remember um, with the Gretzkys. Wayne Gretzky is the best hockey player to ever live. He's the greatest of all time, number 99. And uh, yeah, they're like family to us. My mom, when she was in LA going to be an actress, met uh, Wayne's wife, Janet Gretzky, and they became best friends. Stayed best friends, and I came out the womb, and I was sort of brought into their family ever since I can remember. Some shorts. Uh, 99, there he is. Means a lot, guys. Another one. Boom, boom. Wayne, you're the man, dude. Thank you. On to the next. That went horribly badly, but wow! This package is so sick! Stickers, note, Jackson, let us know what you think of the trunks. We sent a size 32 because something they, because sometimes they run a little small. Enjoy it out there and let's chat soon. Wes and Greg. Thanks, Driftline. Means a lot. I'll let you know what I think about them. This package has been sitting in my room since before Christmas and I have no idea what it is. It's from Las Vegas, Nevada from Electronics. I don't know what's in here. Hopefully, it's not something scary.
It's an emergency radio. I have no idea who sent me this. I have no idea why they sent me it, but thanks for the radio. Whoa! You've seen this guy before. He always hooks me up with clothes. Skull Design House. Thanks a lot, dude. Oh, it's about time I open this package up. Remember back in the Christmas vlog when I told you about my new partnership with Shimoda Designs? Yeah, check this out. Boom! Finally got my pack. They've, again, this has been here forever. I just haven't opened it because I've been waiting to do this video. Psyched to be reppin'. Thank you, Shimoda. This one's way too big to open on the table, so we're doing it right here. Can you guess who it's by? Carry on Shimoda rollers. Guaranteed this is the new travel bag. Are you kidding me? It's called the Shimoda Carry On Roller V2. By the way, I'll have Shimoda's link in the description below if you want to check out their website. Really cool bags. I've, I've heard nothing but great things. Again, I haven't tried them out, but I think they're gonna be great. They feel really nice, they look really nice, and anyone that reaches out to support me, I, I really appreciate you. Now it's time for that idea I had planned because it's the windiest day of the year. Kite surfing with my Hood River friends who grew up in the kite surfing mecca of the world. Caden and Will and I are going kite surfing. I think Justin's actually, I, I think Justin's gonna join too. zone right now we are about to arrive and we're going yes kite surfing already informed you of this it's a really really windy day so uh, it only felt necessary gonna be really fun we'll see how it goes never caught at this spot but uh, it's the maiden voyage for me and the boys let's freaking get it dude What is going on here? Who invited you guys? Spot check going down. We're at Will's house, Goat Island. Wow. He is a goat. Are you the goat? Oh my dude. That's a total lie. Will's the furthest thing from a goat. He's a seagull. I'm a stallion. Super, super, super unmotivating weather. It's gray and kind of rainy and scary and sharky looking, but we're gonna try and activate here. See how it goes. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, this doesn't look bad. Oh, look at the flat water wow. spot. Wow. This is so epic. Okay, dude. Wilbur Flatwater is psyching out of his mind because the flat water looks like it's going off. See right there, we have this island, we have the flat water, we have the booters. You come in full speed, kite low, hit the booter. It does look like a good flat water spot. Me and Caden generally like the waves a little more, but it looks like there's waves on the outside. And and kook man justin's gonna want to stay in the flat water to prevent blowing out his knees oh yeah we took justin with us he says he hasn't kited in years but knows the basics how you feeling buddy i don't know bro Thank so you. over there is looking like a good place to die yeah that looks like death but right here these waves look so epic this looks so epic it looks about as good as right in this zone looks fun I'm gonna grab the gopro climb up the, the dirt get on there and do some jumps that's goat island right there that's your home that is my home. Born and raised Goat Island. Your tent, dude. Is that your blue That's tent? Blue over there? tent out there, dude. Goat Island low so dog. Yeah, I would just take a paddleboard out and come in, get some groceries, and then head back out. So it feels like home. It yeah. is home. What I've are you talking about? <laughs> no way! Those are Lisa's glasses. Hey, Lisa glasses! I got it! They're so magnified, dude. <laughs> You know this is a super sharky spot. Really? It is actually a breeding zone. What? Let's go, let's go, we're going, we're activating. Parkour! If you want to take a slow oh. Parkour! Oh. Oh. oh my god! That was a lot. 
line. Thanks, man. <laughs> Pump up the kites and rig the line. What's up? Sorry to teleport back to the house after the kite session. That was so sick. Although it felt really sharky and very dangerous, and um, yeah, it literally felt like maybe the sharkiest place on the entire island. There was like a huge channel and it was really gray and really gloomy and really freaky. But nonetheless, we had an amazing time. I didn't really do anything cool. I wasn't really kiting that well. Uh, Caden didn't even end up getting any clips, unfortunately. The GoPros died before he got them. Uh, Will got some sick clips. All in all though, it was such a fun time getting back on the kites with my OG best friends. And uh, yeah, it really feels like I'm back home in Hood River. These last few weeks having Will and Caden out here have been so fun and um, it, it's really sparked a new level of creativity inside me making these vlogs, just going kiting and surfing. And um, I don't know, we've just been living as large as we possibly can and having such a fun time doing it and documenting it and everything in between. So, sorry to end the vlog kind of abruptly, uh, but you know, when your cameras die, what can you do? Anyways, thanks so much for tuning in. I'm gonna sign off, I'm gonna go to bed. I'm super tired, but I'll see you next Friday.